with the new Nissan Murano, one of my favorite ways to access my trunk area is to come here, make sure I have my intelligent keys somewhere on my person, and then touch this touchpad below the badge. And up the tailgate goes, or the lift gate, door, trunk, whatever you want to call it. On the way down, the most convenient way for me to do it, I mean, I could grab this handle, but agronomically it's a weird thing. So I just push this button, walk away, and magic happens see this is a very convenient thing it works for me however when you have a shorter driver it might be a little bit of a challenge let me show you an example so let's open that lift gate see my favorite method works well for me but when you have a shorter person trying to operate this it could be a little bit of a challenge in this case can this person reach that button no they cannot so let's see what we can do about that one way to do this is to get a step ladder whenever you want to close it so that you can go ahead and push that button and see that works but what is the feasibility of always carrying a step ladder every time you need to reach your trunk so let's find a way to take care of this okay let me show you what we can do so what we're gonna do is go ahead and open that trunk all the way and then with the trunk up we'll ask our shortest user of the vehicle raise your hand as high as possible okay now come here we'll grab this and bring it down to their level okay can you reach the button now all right great so now what we're gonna do at this point since we know that let's stretch your hand up again let's see that she can reach it now with that setting what we'll do is just come and hold this button okay push the button please easy access no step stool needed and likewise whenever we go to push that button to open the trunk watch what happens that's the new set height and she can go ahead and push the button to shut the trunk this time no problems needed. And that's all it takes, and that's great. Unfortunately, there are both advantages and disadvantages to doing that. One obvious one is that, while well, this works very well for the shortest user of the vehicle, it works rather inconveniently for me as the tallest user. I have to duck every time I need to access things in my trunk area. So, not to be selfish, but we're gonna do this. Push this all the way up, and then just hold it at the highest position. Is it three seconds? Yep, locks it. Thankfully, Nissan has offered us so many different ways to open and close the trunk. So in this case, I mean, you could do that. It's just a video on how to change the height. But what I'm going to show you is that thankfully, in our Platinum uh, model, Nissan has given us so many different ways to both open and shut this trunk. And one of those is going to be the kick method. And in this case, it doesn't really matter what your height is. As a user, whenever you have the intelligent keys near you, you just kick and everything works. I think that's our favorite one. <laughs> Obviously, you can still use a key fob if you wanted to. This is the trunk button, the second from the bottom, and just hold that. Up it goes. And when you press it again, down it goes. So, there are methods that don't really care for the height of the user, but I just wanted to make this video to give you options in case for whatever reason you just have to use your handle, you know, or you have to use a button on the trunk, your key fob's not working, maybe you don't have the kick feature, whatever. I hope this video helps in one way or another.